Hi everyone, this is Pramita here. Uh, today I wanted to do a video on how I set up my Foxyfix. Now, this is my Foxyfix Ruena number no. 2 white. Um, uh, I had ordered this around the Black Friday sale. Uh, as you must have known by now that they had an awesome sale. And I wanted to get a Foxy Fix to see how I like it or not. Because I already have a Chic Sparrow and um, I already have three speckled fonts. So I just wanted to see how I like this. So I ordered a number two wide because I have this affinity to stuff things up. So yeah, this is it. I ordered it with a red elastic. And uh, since if you do not know, I am I can tell you that Rowena um, usually scratches very easily. And the leather is absolutely smooth and uh, smells divine. Uh, not a very overpowering smell as such. But I like this. Uh, it has a lot of uh, scratches and dents as you can see. Uh, it has a it has its unique character anyway so some of my friends wanted to see a setup video of this so that's why I'm doing this so this is how I have set up now this is a band this did not come with the Foxyfix package uh, I did not order it uh, this is actually a leather page mark uh, I had ordered from an um, Indian shop, uh, it's called candyshelves.com and they had kindly sent me a lot of freebies including these leather page marks but um, I don't use them as page marks because they, they are pretty floppy type, I don't like that. So I had kept them aside and what I did was since my um, traveler's notebook was pretty stuffed and uh, this side of the notebook was getting bent so to give it an extra support I pierced a hole with an owl you know the poking tool that you have and made it into a band which holds the notebooks together like this so it acts as a pen loop sort of as well as um, you know it gives a support to the whole notebook system so that's it and on the outside I have a uh, ceramic uh, bead with a wooden bead attached to it with the page mark now this was actually a part of an earring that I had I had lost the other half of it but I liked it so much I didn't throw it away of course and I transformed it into a charm of sorts Okay, and these are the two glass bead, uh, glass bead charms that I have made page marks I'll show you later on when we come to that so as I open it now this is a very DIY kind of uh, notebook system because I have customized a lot of stuff in this uh, and this is a, uh, not a foxy fix dashboard this is a dashboard I made which you can uh, change like you can take out the cart and you can reuse it so I have it's top loading dashboard made with uh, uh, the inner section of an accordion file like you have those separating sections and I have just uh, attached them to form open uh, dashboard sort of thing now my neighbors are doing something which is causing a lot of racket out on my uh, you know the landing sort of thing that we have we have a common space so please excuse me if you hear such noises now this is a piece of vellum I had a roll of vellum I didn't know I had that for a while and uh, <laughs> I discovered it in my stash suddenly one day and I decided to make a vellum page sort of thing but it did not have it did not come with any kind of prints or uh, you know drawings or whatever it was just a plain sheet of vellum so I used acrylic paints and uh, distress stains to make some watercolor uh, some florals these are all acrylic colors so they are waterproof and so are the distress stains so that's it 
and next we come to the dashboard now this was actually uh, a packaging from scarlet lime planner society uh, kit and uh, so i used it and at, at the back i have uh, cut apart a piece of a journaling card from coco daisy and stuck that i have laminated this part and made it into a dashboard now this is an insert that i bought from a local uh, stationery store and this is a korean notebook i think i got it at a very good deal so i use it for my work purposes as you can see i've already attached some random being a teacher i have to keep a lot of stuff at hand so this is my work related planner this is my go-to work related planner because I have a detailed uh, setup somewhere else. I don't want to show that. This is just a brief outline of my work. Uh, this is the other part of the girl that I had shown you. Uh, this, this was on the other side of the card. So I had attached that to another journaling card and made it into a dashboard. So this notebook is wrapped around one dashboard. It has a vellum sheet and one um, top loading dashboard next is my uh, book or insert on coupon codes okay so i uh, often buy from etsy sticker shops and i never ever give the full price that they ask for so i'm always on the lookout for coupon codes discounts because i live in india and shipping is um uh, costs me a lot so i want to save as much as possible so that is one of the reasons i have them al alphabetically arranged so like coupon code you can see a b it goes on like this um, so this is it okay so this is a pen loop once again i have customized this i hope you can see it this is actually a piece of elastic so I had seen someone on YouTube because you will be having uh, you if you look for certain uh, pen loop videos DIY you will come across a number of videos but this is the one that I formulated after watching a number of uh, videos and it's working perfectly fine for me. So this was actually a piece of let me take this out as you can see I hope you can see this is a flat elastic that I had in my stash. What I did was I just made a loop out of it and stapled the loop first. And then when it became a loop like structure, I attached it with the notebook. Because I know when I'm going to take this note, when I finish this notebook, I might want to take this off. So I can just uh, slice it out with a pair of scissors or exacto knife and attach it into some other insert. So this is one because I like to keep a number of pens out here. So this is one pen loop that I have. So that is uh, how I made this pen loop. If you want to see a tutorial on this, you can send me a message uh, down below so that I can make a tutorial on that. Okay, so now this was a pocket folder that I bought from an Etsy shop and uh, yeah, it was made of pretty flimsy paper and soon it started to give away from the center so it was useless after a while then uh, i laminated the folder and what i did was i just sliced open the side this side so that i can access the pocket so it became a laminated pocket folder that's it nothing else okay so this is once again a journaling card from coco daisy let me take this back uh, and I have some random inserts in it, which I have not used. Uh, these are not stitched. I've just uh, kept them in my elastic. And these inserts are from Planning Obsessed. Um, I have them. She, she has an Etsy shop. She had kindly sent me some uh, inserts. This is an empty insert that I have, which I plan to use as my expense tracker. But I am yet to start this. Um, this is from Coco Daisy. They have come out with the uh, passport size um, uh, Daisy Dories. And this is once again another dashboard. This is a Coco Daisy card. 
uh, I wanted to use this because it says uh, some days you eat salads and go do yoga. Some days you eat cupcakes and refuse to put on pants. It's called balance. So I liked it. And this is once again another journaling card. I just attached it together and laminated them because this was a one one sided card only. I wanted something on this side also. So this is actually my brain dump. I just have a Heidi Swap small card over here attached to another Heidi Swap paper clip. This is my brain dump. This has not changed because if you see uh, at, in my previous video, the first video that I did, I think on a setup. So this uh, was there and it has not changed a bit. Uh, I'll only switch it over once I finish this notebook. So this is one notebook that I have. This is another dashboard that I've made one side with this and the other side of that. This is a pattern paper that we received in our Coco Daisy subscription. Okay, and this is a random notebook where I keep all my task lists and the things that I need to do immediately, uh, stuff like that. This is the other half of the folder. I don't keep much inside this. Uh, this is just, a, you know, brief sort of thing. Uh, only the emergency stuff remain here. And this is the other half of the vellum, which again, I have water uh, painted with acrylic colors. And that's it. That's the end. And this is the top loading uh, dashboard that I have made. So that's it. That's the, all the stuff that I have here. And these are two, uh, these are the some page uh, markers that I have made you. You have seen, you must have seen them on Instagram a million times because many people are selling these, but uh, I want to make them. So these are tied to leather cords. Uh, these are some beads over here and there's just an extra bit. So I've attached a, a ring to it and tied this part. So yeah, that's it. That's the total setup of my Foxy Fix Rowena number two wide. So bye. Bye for now.